Hi, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Nuri, for always talking. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, teacher. Yes, that's good. How are you going? <laughs> hmm? How are you going? I'm okay. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Ah, uh, my weekend. Um, yesterday I went in a in a party. Oh my yeah, cousin. where? Yeah, my my cousin' birthday. Oh, okay, good party. Yes, party dinner. <laughs> it was a party or a reunion? Um, no, Re reunion. <laughs> okay. But we we always uh, dance. Yeah, the, the reunion <laughs> becomes a party. Uh huh. <laughs> Dancing bachata, drinking mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It, it was very funny. All right. How's your son? He's. He has, um, do you know what is a runny nose? It's an expression, a runny nose. No. <laughs> yeah, runny comes from running, right? Uh-huh. So I would say like a tarro maybe, runny nose. His nose is running. <laughs> Congestionado. Yes, something like that. But I think it's normal, you know, because it's viral. Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Did you give him some medicine? Yes, his mother did. I, I don't know what she gave him. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe it's a allergies. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. What did yeah. you see? did you did you see the price of the gasoline? Nice. That's great. Larry, what's up? Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi. <laughs> you know, I saw your message on Friday and that it said due to religious commitments. <laughs> I was like, what is he talking? I forgot that. So you were doing that church thing? Yeah. Who are you, Judas? No, 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 excuse me. Uh, Jesus. We, we, uh, we were uh, a station. I don't know. How yes, I, I suppose you had a station. Yes. Oh, okay. The number nine. How many stations are there? Uh, ah, uh, I can remember. Uh, there are 12, so I, I, I don't. I don't think so, but I think it's 12. 12 stations. Yes. Uh, let me check it for you. All right, cool. So everybody, so everything okay, everything good? Hey, teacher. How are you? Everything I'm all right. You? How was your weekend? Well, it was tidy because I had a lot of things to do. But uh, nice. What did you do? Well, I worked for my job. I did a lot of things that I have, uh, I don't know, pending, pending things. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. I forget to ask you. Uh, I forgot you told me. What is it that you do in your job? Uh, I am co export coordinator. I send things to another country, you know, something like that. Do you travel or everything is online? No, everything is online. Yes. I only uh, send things made here in El Salvador. Do you work from home? Uh, sometimes. Two, twice, twice a week. Two times. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yes, it's nice, but something, sometimes very... Um, uncomfortable, I think, because I 
I don't have a lot of things near me, you know, like the printer or con communication with the people in the office. Yes, it's, it's true. It's hard sometimes. It's true. Yes. What's up, Larry? What happened to your Real Madrid yesterday? What? Ex excuse me, nothing. It's normal. <laughs> You think four zero is normal? No, I think yeah, yesterday yeah, normal. They they saw they suddenly disappear. I don't know yeah. why. No, you know what? I think yesterday it was actually Barça Barça versus Courtois. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Barça versus the Real Madrid. It was Barça versus the goalie, the goalkeeper. Yeah. Because that that game was minimum minimum eight zero. Maybe eight to three. Yeah, that's true. But it was good. It was a good game. I was happy. Hmm. What's up, Alex? Uh, hey, Alex, you changed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's... You change. You change rooms or positions? No, oh, just the position. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it looks different now. All right, let's do, let's finish this. Okay, um, we're going to listen to a conversation between two tourists. Check if it's true or false, okay? Thomas arrived in Chile yesterday. So let's listen to this. Can you hear? No. Oh. Listen to a conversation between two tourists. What about now? Kathy no, and okay. Tomas. Okay. Then check true or false. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm from Toronto. Where are you from? Buenos Aires. Nice to meet you, Kathy. I'm Tomas. Nice to meet you, too. How long have you been traveling in Chile? About three weeks now. What about you? I just arrived two days ago. I'm staying for a month. Good. Then you'll get to see a lot of the country. Yeah, I'm planning to travel from Santiago down to Patagonia. Oh, Patagonia is great. And it's the perfect time of year to hike there. It's not too cold? Not at all. Despite what some people think, Patagonia has a pretty mild climate. And it's summertime now. January and February are the months when most people visit. So there are a lot of tourists down there right now? Not really. Patagonia is far from everything. Usually only serious hikers go there. I've heard one of the best parks for hiking is Torre del Paine. Yeah, it's fantastic. And it has some of the most beautiful views in Chile. Nice. When were you there? I was there last week, but I go every year. Next summer, I'm actually going to volunteer in the park. Seriously? Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, I can't wait. All right, Thomas arrived in Chile yesterday. True or false? False. Kathy's going to travel in Chile to... Bleh, Kathy's going to travel in Chile for a month. True. True. No one visits Patagonia in January or February. False. False. Thomas goes to Torre del Paine National Park every three years. Oh, oh. I would like to go to Chile someday. Yeah, it looks like it's a nice country. That's a nice country. Okay. Yeah, it must be nice. Or Uruguay. Uruguay looks cool too. Yeah. Okay, the woman goes to bed. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Let's listen to this. Listen to a conversation between two friends, then check the best answers. Ooh, I don't get it, Chris. I'm really tired, but I'm still not sleeping well these days. That's too bad. Maybe you're staying up too late. Well, I usually watch the 11 o'clock news before I turn in, so 
I guess I am getting to bed pretty late. And what about caffeine? Have you been drinking coffee or tea after five o'clock? Hmm, I usually drink tea after dinner. Maybe it's keeping you up at night. I don't know. I feel drowsy when I go to bed, but I just can't fall asleep. And I know I'm tired because I exercise for an hour while I'm watching the news. Oh, that's it. You should probably exercise earlier. I read that some people perk up after they exercise vigorously, so it's not usually a good idea to exercise right before bed. You should finish exercising at least three hours before trying to go to sleep so that you have time to calm down first. Hmm, I've never heard that before. I guess it makes sense. So I should exercise earlier in the day and just relax after dinner? Yeah, just chill out in the evenings. Then you'll probably sleep like a log. That's true. They say it's not good to do exercise at night. Yes, I think that is very yeah. tired. Because when you finish exercise, you have feeling like. You have feeling, yes. And it's it's more difficult to go to bed. Okay, the woman goes to bed early after eleven o'clock after the eleven o'clock news or immediately after dinner. After, after the eleven o'clock news. The woman drinks blank after dinner, tea, coffee, or milk. Tea. tea. I drink a good strong coffee before I go to bed. Oh my god. <sighs> That's not good. <laughs> the woman normally exercises during the 11 o'clock news, early in the day, or at 5 o'clock? During the 11 o'clock. Yes. The man says you shouldn't exercise for three hours early in the morning or right before you go to bed. Right before, right before, right before, you, before you go to bed. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. We got them all right. Let's see this. Combine sentences. It was a headache. Really? Yeah. The first and the first one and the third one. Yeah, really difficult. Okay, so let's see. Combine each sentences defining a noun defining cl relative clause. Remember to use the capital letters and periods. So, for example, uh, Oscar Oswaldo, what do you have for number one? Number one. Can you read? Can you read the example and then your option? Okay. This is, Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria. Sorry. Hold on. Let me do one thing, please. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so here let me go. Can you read number one, please? Yes. Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in by bus. And the answer is Bulgaria is a small country uh, that is cheap to travel in by bus. All right, good. Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by bus. All right, Nuri, can you do number two, please? Uh, you're in mute, Nuri. Nuri, you I'm okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay, no problem. Sorry. Number two. Okay. Sorry, no, go ahead. <laughs> Number two, Florence is easy to navigate on foot. Mm -hmm. Florence is a small city. The right uh, answer is Florence, which is easy to navigate on foot, is a small city. All right, let's see. Possible answers, Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. 
Florence, which is a small city, is easy, easy to navigate by foot. Florence, with, which is easy to navigate on foot, is a small city. Mm -hmm. That is the and, Yes, and remember what I explained to you? I mean, anything is correct. It's just what you want yeah. to make extra mm -hmm. and what you want to make. Um, remember, like what I told you last time, essential and optional. Mm -hmm. Like, remember, we're talking about Donald Trump. He was the ex-president and he is, what is the adjective? He is, he's crazy. So, the two the two can be essential or the two can be optional. It depends how you want to say it. Like in this case, Florence is easy to navigate. That can be something essential or it can be something optional. And, and Florence is a small city. Yes. Florence, okay, great. Um, number three, who can do number three? Let me see number three. Alex, can you do number three, please? Okay, my hometown is a popular tourist destination. My hometown gets crowded in summer. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, my hometown, uh, which is a popular tourist destination, Mm-hmm. Uh, gets crowded in summer. Excellent. My hometown, which is a popular tourist destination, gets crowded in summer. Or my hometown, which gets crowded in summer, is a popular tourist destination. Okay. Um, Larry, can you do number four, please? Okay. okay. Number four, Istanbul has great shopping. Istanbul is the home of the Grand Bazaar. The answer for me is Istanbul, Omar, is the home that is the which is the home of the Grand Bazaar has great shopping. Yes. Um, talking about Istanbul, have you seen that movie, Midnight Express? Yeah. It was in Istanbul, right? Yes. Man, that movie. That movie was good. Strong. All right, let's do part two. It says, oops. I enjoy vacationing in... Teacher, can I interrupt? Sure, please. Uh, when do you use that and which? The two are correct. Oh, okay. The two are correct. You see, which is, 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 is like saying who but for objects. So you can't say El Salvador, who is a country in Central America. So you say El Salvador, which is a country in Central America, is terrible at soccer. I enjoy vacationing in lovely coastal town. Number two, most blank intimidate me. In, intimidate me. Most big skyscraper cities. So most cities with skyscrapers. Intimidate me. I like to retire in a blank village mountain quiet. Quiet mountain village. I always loved college towns, little, little college towns. When I travel, I try to avoid visiting expensive places. Of course, expensive places. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
All right, let me see if we can finish all this today so tomorrow we can have like a free activity day. Here, next, it says, read the sentences, then complete the sentences with the following words. Just add the word in, no need for capital letters or period. So we're just going to add the word. My city, or for example, cost of living, green spaces, nightlife, climate, shopping, transportation, system. So number one, my city has great blank. You can buy anything you want. What is that, Mr. Miguel Franco? Where is it shopping? My sister has great shopping. You can buy anything you want. Yes. All right, let's do this. Number two. Hey, Mr. Rafael Mayen, can you do number two, please? Okay, teacher. The nightlife is fun. There are lots of clubs and shows. All right. Do you go to nightclubs, Rafael? Uh, not anymore, teacher. <laughs> but okay. actually, I, I don't. I really enjoy more like bars or or, or, or live music band than. than okay. Clubs. Okay, one thing. My question was tricky because in El Salvador we think that nightclub is like lips. And it's not. Nightclub is a club for, for night. A bar is a nightclub. Okay. So uh, those are strip clubs. So it's okay. You can say I go. I go to nightclubs. Nightclubs are discotheques. Uh, yes. To, to dance. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily only nightclubs. <laughs> All right. So it was a tricky question. <laughs> now I can be a seat. Oh, yes, I go every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> to Uncle Sam. <laughs> to Uncle Sam. Oh, my God, that still exists. Oh, man. Nuri, number three, please. Okay. All year round. Mm, climate. There's a comfortable climate. Yeah, climate. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, stair number four. Can you do number four, please? Okay, Kalena, can you do number four, please? Yes, of course. If you have a dog, you need to live in a city that has lots, lots of green spaces. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, can you do number five, please? I think you are in mute, so, Jenny. Sorry, I'm sorry, I have a problem with my computer. Please. No worries, no worries. It's too expensive for me to la live in a place that has a high um, public system. I think. Can you can you see that transportation system or cost of life living? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I think the cost living. Yes. Can you live in Dubai? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And last but not least, it's easier to get around in a city that has an efficient yes, transportation system. <laughs> Have you seen the buses that the government, the, the Catalino Miranda buses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, man. Vieron uno que la palanca era un martillo. O sea, like, my respects for that mechanic. 
that improvised that. <laughs> he put a hammer, man. Really? I, I, I saw it on the news. They were showing the, the condition of the buses. Oh, my God. They, they just put the, the iron. You, they, how, how do you say soldar? Well. Okay, you, you will the, the, the iron to, to make the, the, the sticker. It's true. How can, how can he oh. have 300? How, how can you have 300 oh. buses? Yeah, we do You must be, wow. I want, I want two buses and I'm happy. Okay, number uh, part two. It says burnout, calm down, drop off. Perk up, sleep over, turn in. First of all, do we do we have, do we know what burned out is? Have, have you seen medicine students in the university? Yeah. They're always like this. They're yeah. always they're always burned out from studying. What is burned out? It's similar in Spanish. Quemándose. Estoy tostado, man. Oh, no, tostado es drogado. No, quemándose. Estoy quemado, yes. Uh, like, I'm burned out. Like, that means, that means, en sentido figurado, like, I am a candle and my flame burned out. So, I am over. Okay, then we have a calm down. What is drop off? Do you know what is drop off? No. Okay, give me a ride and drop me off in Metro Centro. So drop off is what? Like to I give a ride. To. No, you give me a ride and, and then you take me to a place, but you drop me off. Oh, okay. Like. For example, do, Oscar, do you have uh, children? Uh, no. Hmm, okay. Jenny, you have children, right? Yes. Who takes your children to school? Mm, the teacher. The teacher takes your children to school. That's a cool teacher. Mm -hmm, right. So the teacher goes to your house and he takes your kids to school? No. <laughs> I take. I oh, take. <laughs> so you you can say I take my children to school or I drop them off in I school. Drop. Okay. Yeah. So, like uh, depositarlos, like. No, drop off is dejarlos. Sí, uh, puede ser también. Si es algo un objeto es depositar. Hoy que en día está el Hugo Hugo en que todo es a domicilio. El pobre llega en la mañana y dice, How many drop-offs do I have? You have 10 drop-offs. Mm. Three in Santa Tecla, five in San Salvador, and two in La Campanera. Deja los últimos dos de La Campanera. <laughs> <laughs> Because you might not come back. Because you yes. drop off when you rent a car? in a city and you want to leave the car in another city is correct right right uh, the drop off in other city i'm going to drop off the car yes but um why why would you drop off a car in another city i think <laughs> you drive oh okay okay i see i see like for example I, i'm going to drop off the car in the mechanic um, yeah, but I mean, if, if, if you're going to Santa Tecla and you say, I'm, and you, you live in Soyapango, and you say, look, I'm going to drop off the car in Santa Tecla. Yeah, you have to leave, you have to leave the car there. Right? Yes, you have to leave it there. Okay. And you come back without the car. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So drop off at the head. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Blockbuster? Yes. So you rented a movie, but you needed to drop it off. 
Depends on the movie the next day. Yeah. Or three days. Yeah. Oh, good, good blockbuster. You know, there's still one blockbuster in the world, I think. It's in Canada. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I think there's a part of Canada that the internet is very, very bad because of the um, location. (laughs) So people have to go old school. Right. All right, so let's do number one here. Let's start with Luis. Can you do number one, please? Okay. Um, number one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before we continue, Luis, hold on. So we understand drop off. What is perk up? Something like you cheer yourself. Perk up is 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 similar to a booster. Yeah. Like to stay alert, teacher. Yeah. Mhm. Like perk up. What is sleepover? When you sleep and it's some some uh, somewhere out your out. Yes. Remember when you were um. Maybe in high school or in the university, uh, maybe there was no more transportation or something. You call your mom, Mom, I'm going to sleep over. Yeah. And la casa de quien? De Jose. Vaya, hijo, vamos a estudiar, mamá. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But good thing there were no cellular phones in that time. Now it's impossible. Okay, and next we have turn in. Do you know what turn in is? Turn in is, for example, when you, let's say the university, you have an assignment, you have homework, correct? And then the teacher tells you, okay, this is your homework, and you have to turn it in next Tuesday. Turn in. What is turn in? To give something? You have, you have uh, like a, a deadline to, to deliver your homework or your work? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you have a badge where you work? Do you have a badge? Yes. Okay, if you stop working there, you have to turn in your badge. Correct? Okay. Larry. Hi. Hi. Guess what? Tell me. Guess. There's no sound or or, <laughs> or a lot of noise. No, now it actually sounds like you are in a hurricane. Oh yeah. Or a big <laughs> storm. Let me show you something. There what is, is no that? Clue. There is no jack at the computer. So it's which micro? Okay, which microphone are, are you? Are you from? Uh, from a laptop? Yes. Oh, so you're using the, the the microphone from the laptop? Yep. Oh, that's why. Oh, really? Then that microphone, I, I think it's absorbing everything around. Yeah, all the noise. Yes. They're very sensitive. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it sounds like, like, um, like you know, like those movies when you're driving and you can't see because it's, it's raining very hard. <laughs> and right now? What about now? No, you can't really hear now. Now, yes. Yes. No noise? Or there's yes. no noise at all? N- noise? Oh, really? Yeah. I connected I connect the microphone. <laughs> all right. 
Okay, so number one, Luis, can you... Hold on, give me one second, oh. please. Thank you. Something scary just happened. Hello? A ghost. A ghost? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I am alone in my house and somebody knocked on, on, on my door in the in the in the room. <laughs> really? Teacher. Someone's busy to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's weird. Oh, there's, there's. There's no one in the house. <laughs> there are there's. The others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you see, if somebody comes in right now and they kill me, it's being recorded. <laughs> oh no, teacher, yeah. don't say that. <laughs> no. Hey, you're recorded. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. No. Okay. So let's do it now. Okay, so I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Luis, can you do number one, please? A turning. Meditating before a turning at night helps help me to fall asleep more easily. Okay, good. More easily. Okay, good. Number two. Who can do number two? to Larry. Larry. You're in mute, Larry. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. After all the excitement of the fire alarm, it was hard for me to calm down. It's All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, number three. It says, I. Uh, let me see, let's do. Uh, Kalena, can you do number three, please? Yes, yes. Um, I find that going to the gym during my lunch hour. Help help me uh, to perk up at work. Awesome, thank you. Number four, Jenny. As grandma lives so far away, she'll uh, she'll sleep over at our house tonight and go home tomorrow. Okay, good. Number five, Miguel Franco. Be careful when driving late at night. You might slip over and get into an accident. Hmm, this one's strange. That was the correct one, sleep over? You might drop, drop off. Drop off. Drop off. Yes. Okay. And number six is burnout, right? It's hard not to burn out when you're working late every night. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next, it says combine the sentences. It says combine sentences using defining and non-defining non-relative clauses. Remember to use capital letters and period. Now remember, um, there's really no correct right, right or wrong way for this because it depends on what you want to make a non-defining relative clause. 
So, for example, Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in by bus. Yes, we just made it. We just did it. We no, just did that one. It. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wait, where am I? Yeah, I'm deja vu, man. This looks familiar. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Choose the words that best complete each sentence. My alarm goes off. I get in the shower. As soon as or since? As soon as. As soon as. Okay, number two. Taking a shower or make coffee? After. 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 All right. Blank eating breakfast. I watch the news on TV. Why? 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 Number four, leaving for work, I take the dog for a walk. Right before. before. Blank, I'm late, I take right taxi before. instead of the train to work. Whenever. Whenever. Number six, I arrive at work, I sit in front of my computer all day. The the moment. Moment. That's me right there. <laughs> yeah. Part two, it says instructions. That's how it sounds, Larry. Like you are in oh, a. Huh? You're wearing the you're wearing the crane, Larry. <laughs> like a reporter. Yes. It, it's like you are in a snowstorm. <laughs> you are in a snowstorm. <laughs> okay, it says I can fall asleep easily most light most nights unless. I start thinking about problems at work. Yes. <laughs> Do you know Mr. Bean? Yes. yes. Do you like Mr. Bean? <laughs> yes, yes, I like. Yeah. Did you see the episode when he can't sleep? And he starts counting sheep in his mind? Yeah. <laughs> but he's very stupid because he starts counting one, two. And then he counts so many that he takes out a calculator. So he, he he doesn't fall asleep because he loses sleep. I sleep soundly at night as long as it's dark in my room. As long as it's dark in my room, very good. I feel pretty good today considering that I only go for hours, hours of sleepless, of sleepless night. night. Good. I keep a glass of water by my bed in case. I get thirsty at night. Very good. I always go to bed at 10 p.m. even if. I don't have to get up. I don't have to get up early the next day. You know, I always get up at 6 in the morning even if it's Sunday. I hate that. It's like automatically I wake my eyes. Like I, I open my eyes. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Too. Yeah. And then on Monday, it's like, oh man. Oh. <laughs> All right, and let's see the p p reading exercise instructions: read the travel brochure, then check true or false for each statement. Okay, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to ask you if you have questions. Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand's second largest city. Here you can explore ancient temples, colorful markets, and historic architecture. Chiang Mai was the charm of an old mountain town with all the conveniences of a modern cultural center. There is great nightlife and hotels for every budget. Questions? Charm. Charm. Do you know what charm is? Charm. What is charm, Larry? En español es acogedor, por orles. Yes, uh, or oh, encanto. encanto. Oh. 
Yes, f eh, eh, mucho de cuentos, The Charming Prince. Yeah. Or women usually say, oh, he's so charming. <laughs> All right, um, what is budget? The last word? Budget. Do you, yes. Do you know, hey, can you guys recommend me to a good restaurant? And then you say, okay, depends. What is your budget? Mm -hmm. Because I can okay. recommend you Mama Chus or Fiasca de Brasil, but that depends on what is your budget, right? Right. Fiasca or Faisca? Faisca de Brasil, right? Faisa. Faisa. That's cool. I like Faisa that. Faisa de Brasil. Yeah. <laughs> Faisa do Brasil. It's a lot for me. It's a lot of money, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chiang Mai. In, in, excuse me, but in, in Brazil, is more expensive. Oh, it's really? Expensive. Yeah. Uh, if, if there is a famous restaurant who called, who name is uh, uh, Fogo de Chao, and you have to pay $80 to eat there. Oh, man. Larry, do you know how to make gaipirinhas? Gaipari, gaipirinhas? Gaipirinhas, yes. Man, that, I love that. that. That was a good drink. It's a good, very good drink. What yes. kind of liquor? Yes, what is the liquor for gaipirinha? It's no vodka. But it's, is... it's a lot of lemon and sugar, yeah. right? Yeah. That's the secret. Vodka? No, no vodka. No. What is vodka? It's like an agua, right? Or it's yes. brasileña, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. With sugar. lemon, lemon sugar, sugar and mint, no? And yes. Yerba buena, is it? Yerba it's, yeah. Yerba buena. It's it, man, I like that. It's very, very good. I I had I had that in Faisca Faisca do Brazil. But like five dollars for one shot. Oh. It's like the mojito, or it's different. No. Yeah, the, the I, I guess. Wrong. Yeah, mojito is wrong. It's rum, mm -hmm. Coke and. No, 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 no. Sparkling, Coke. sparkling soda. I don't know. I don't drink. <laughs> I drink mojito, and I like it. It's oh. rum, oh. lemonade, and soda. Sparkling and lemon. Lemon. Oh, I only drink stuff like that when I go to a party, like a wedding. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay, bring me a martini, blah, blah. But in my house, I drink tequila. <laughs> 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 okay, next it says, the cool season of, let me see. The cool season of December to February is when many people choose to visit Chiang Mai. February is when the most famous flower festival is held and the whole city is lined with flower boxes. It's not to be missed. What is that expression? It's not to be missed. No te lo puedes perder. Yes. For example, ¿dónde los farolitos? Oh, what's Japan, right? Ataco, right. Exactly. In, in Ataco, in what month? Uh, oh, let's say let let's say it's in let's say it's in November. So November. so you can say, man, Ataco is very beautiful. The climate is fresh. It, it's it's beautiful. But in in November is the best. It cannot be missed because there's a special ceremony of farolitos, which is impossible to go because it's full. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And expensive. There is something for everyone in Chiang Mai. Plan your trip today. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, what, what does um, uh, ancient, ancient mean? Ancient. And the first, uh -huh, ancient. 
And the first line. The first line says, Wait, welcome to Chiang Mai. In the first paragraph or second? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. No, first, no, first no. Paragraph. The first line. Ancient. Can ancient. Line. Ancient is something very ancient. old. It's something very old, like Hoya de Seren. What is Hoya de Seren? It's an ancient um, pyramid. Um, by by the Mayas or Pipils? Okay. I don't know. My Mayas, right? My, Mayas. <laughs> Maya. It's an old. Ancient, okay. yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So let's see this. It says Chiang Mai has cheap and expensive places to stay. True or false? True. True. True, because remember, there's budgets. Mm. Chiang Mai is a small town. Oh. False. False. It's actually the second. True. The second largest. Remember, the area around Chiang Mai is ugly and industrial. False. 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 The Mai Klang waterfalls are from the city. False. I think that's false. I don't remember. Um, them mentioning my clung. The flower festival is held during the cool season. True. 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 Awesome. We got them all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. We're cool. And we finished. That's the end. Yeah. All right, cool. So tomorrow, what we're going to do, um, we're going to have like a little conversation of, li well, it's actually listening and um, being active, listening uh, and participating. But that's a, that's that may be a little difficult because a lot of people here don't like to participate. Okay. <laughs> And every time I join a class, hi, good, hello, everybody, and I just see everybody like this. Only, only Jenny is the only one that talks to me. <laughs> Nuri, I'm sorry, Jenny, I'm sorry, Nuri, only <laughs> Nuri. Yes, and um, so remember, I, I would really recommend you to try to participate because the, the rest we are probably tiring. No, I know. Sure, tiring. <laughs> no, it, it is tiring, but you know, sometimes it's relaxing. Just. Yeah. Let it all go. What we're going to do is maybe we can do one example right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to talk about habits. Do you know what is a habit? Do you know what is the difference between a custom and a habit? For example, mm -hmm. what Larry did Friday with the stations is a habit or a custom? No. Custom. 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 It's a custom. So what is a habit? What is the difference? Something that you have um, at the same manner and maybe daily. Okay. Yeah. And a custom? Uh, it's something that you do uh, with a, a lot of time between. Okay. Yeah, okay. For example, I do a daily. I do my bed right after I wake up. Oh, right after I get up. I do my bed every day. Okay. Oh, congrats. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but why? Nobody's going to use your bed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, but I, no, no. I like fold my, you know, my. The blanks. Okay, good. I always do it every day. Yeah, it's a habit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the difference is pretty much when it's a custom, it's like a tradition. It can be a tradition. Let's start big. It can be a tradition in your country, in your religion, in your family, in your group of friends, in your school, or in your job. It's a tradition you follow in a group, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. So that would be a, a custom. Like what Larry did is a custom in his religion to do the stationary, the stations of Jesus Christ, correct? 
Habit, habit is something more that you do your way. Okay. For example, and the habits can be good or bad or strange. Yes. So today we're going to talk about habits. Yeah. So everybody, you're going to tell me one good habit you have, one bad habit you have, one strange habit you have, okay. or and a habit you hate on people. Mm. For example, have you ever used the expression, a mí me cae mal cuando la gente hace esto. So you can say, I hate it when people have the habit of, like for example, I hate when when I go to a store and I make a line and people just come in like in front of you <laughs> and you're like I was next yeah that's right. a bad habit that people have but you know it's our people <laughs> so we have to we have to do it teacher yes? I say over there is the line. <laughs> no, I am very sarcastic in, in, in that in that sense. I talked to the lady. Excuse me, so the order here is by first come, first serve, or how, how does this work? <laughs> and then it's funny because the person gets offended like mm -hmm. <laughs> like oh yeah, I am I am the offensive one. <laughs> okay. So everybody we're gonna talk about one good habit, one bad habit, and one strange habit. So let me share with you my good habit, but I want you to ask me follow-up questions. Do you know what is a follow-up question? Yeah, related to... to your... Thank you, yes, to what I just said. Yeah. So everybody's going to ask me to uh, for a question, a follow-up question. Okay, so for example, let me see. One good habit that I have is I like to read. All right. Can you ask me a follow-up so, question? Now, rem uh -huh. well, what kind of books do you like? Oh. All right. Very good. Um, you know, now I like to read biographies. I like to read books about history, religion. Nice. Mm -hmm. You started reading, teacher, when you were very young or when you were like an adult? It's funny why I started reading, because when I was very little, I traveled with my mom to the United States, and um, there was a program in the public schools where I lived with Pizza Hut. And in, this, is, this is good marketing. Listen to this. Pizza Hut did a program with the local schools that every time a little kid... I, I think I think I was in the fifth grade, fourth or fifth grade. But if you read a complete book and you make a report and you give it to your teacher, your teacher gave you a pass for a personal pizza. Mm, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I used to do it for the pizza. You know, I was like reading. <laughs> you know, I was trying. But it was good because it created the habit of reading. Yeah. I, I actually like reading now. I, in fact, in my in my um, in my office right now, I have a, a book I'm reading. Have you read in the Hundred of Solitude? Solitude. Oh yeah, Solitude. Hundred Years of Solitude. Yes. But, but that's a little hard in in, in English, right? Yeah, hundred a hundred years of solitude. Hundred years of solitude. Yeah. And Macondo. What's his name? Yeah. Benito Buendia. No. Santiago. Uh, no. I don't know, but that's a, that's an excellent book, though. All right, Luis, do you have any questions? No, I don't have questions, teacher. Okay. Does anyone else have any follow-up questions regarding my habit? Uh, could you please explain about uh, extreme habit? No, because right now we're still in, in good habits, and then we're going to go with bad habits, and then we're going to go with strange habits. Yeah, could you please give me a good habit in your life? I just did. I get you, Luis. You're not paying attention. <laughs> yes, no. I I always watch you. You're not paying attention, Luis. <laughs> no, no. You, do you say that I can ask something about that you talk? 
Yes. But uh, how you talk about habit. Uh, Alex told about, but I don't know what is the meaning uh, that he said. No, okay. Um, what, what we're all going to do, well, starting tomorrow, everybody, we're going to share, somebody's going to share a good habit. Somebody's going to share a bad habit. Somebody's going to share a strange habit. Those are funny. The strange habits are very funny. And everybody, we're going to ask follow-up questions. So, like, imagine, imagine you go out on a date. When you go out on a date, you like to meet people, like that person you're with. And you say, tell me about yourself. And this person tells you, oh, I like to read. And you say, oh, really? What do you like to read? Oh, I like to read this. Oh, have you ever read that book? Oh, man, it's good. I like to read. Have you ever read Paulo Coelho? And then, you know, you start a conversation with follow-up questions. But imagine that person tells you, what is your fa uh, what is a good habit you have? I like to read. Oh, good. Do you like pizza? <laughs> that's nothing to do that's not a follow-up question <laughs> that's a little strange <laughs> yes i was like, you know so yeah like uh thank you i think alex you asked me right um that, thank you for that what do you like to read or oh, i think it was rafael yeah, yeah what kind of books what kind of books do you like to read yes um my favorite uh, or you can say what's your favorite book yes, yeah. yes. oh yes yes <clears throat> who's your favorite author yes you know, I, I, I recommend you to uh, read, to read and not to read, <laughs> Paolo Coelho. Oh, that's good. Because Paolo Coelho is, is, is similar to Mana. Do you know Mana in music? Mm. Mana, you listen to one song and it's good. It's a very good song. But you listen to all the songs and they're all the same. <laughs> they are all similar. So... That's how Coelho is. Coelho has very good books, very good books. But if you read another one, another one, they are all similar. Similar. Right. The other class recommended The Alchemist, right? It's... Yes, The Alchemist. I really recommend you that book. It's, just, it's I love that book. That's one of my favorite books. You know, my, my, fir my first book that I read mm -hmm. it was uh, Watering Height. was really good. I recommend it to you if you have Wittering Height. Wittering Height, yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's the who's the author? Uh, some, like Elizabeth, but she's from England, right? Just, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's English. Do you know the story of Harry Potter or the, or the woman who wrote Harry Potter? Yeah. Yes. Do you know why she wrote... Like like she was in the in the, in the train like traveling. I heard something like that. That she was traveling and and she started to. Yeah, to but writing. What happened was that she was very she was extremely poor, and she lived from the government, mm -hmm. and she was so poor that she couldn't buy her children toys or something. So she started creating books like stories, oh, okay. of Harry Potter. Now she's not poor. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's one of like the top yes. richest women in in, in Europe. Yes, yes. So a lot. All right. Um. So th th that's what we're gonna do today. Tomorrow, then you're gonna tell me something a strange habit you have, if you uh -huh. want to participate. Okay. And if not, it's okay. Just listen. You know, strange habits is like <laughs> when I when I lived in San Miguel, I saw many strange habits in San Miguel. Yeah. That compared to San Salvador for me were strange. For example, Chuco in San Miguel is pink. And yes, sweet. Jenny? And sweet. Yes. And sweet. Yeah. Atol dulce. Yes, I that the Chuco I really didn't like. Uh, never beans. Oh. No. Imagine. No it has to have beans. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has to taste it's like different. sour, you know? Like, like sour. You know, um, Jenny, tell me if, if if I am correct or not. One thing I, I thought it was a strange habit in San Miguel was the breakfast. Because Yo. I no uh, people they eat lunch for breakfast. Yeah, they come. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I remember. I used to go to a diner. Diner is comedor, right? At six in the morning, six thirty in the morning, and then you say like. 
tiene huevos. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, and they have <laughs> carne deshilada. Yeah, with with eggs, they have everything. It's like, oh my god, this is so good. You know, you go with your mentality. Quizás tienen pancakes, beans, or, or eggs or something, <laughs> and then you see, and they have lunch. <laughs> And he said, do you have eggs? Si quieren, le hago. Okay, um, mm -hmm. you know, other strange habits, for example, um, me, I have a strange habit. I like to, um, I like to put ketchup in my tamales. Oh, oh you too? Of my wife is to like to eat the tamal with lemon. Oh, he's not, oh, oh do my God. What kind of tamal? Really, with lemon? It's good, really, but I, I prefer it with, with 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 ketchup too, or barbecue sauce. Mm. Yeah, in okay. Netapan, in That's Netapan, weird. They use a yeah. lot of ketchup. Oh really? For, for everything. Oh, but that one I have not heard. Uh, tamales with lemon. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> it's very, it's oh, very oh, weird. Like it. That's that's a cool one. <laughs> okay, then thank you very much. That's what we're gonna do tomorrow. So remember, we're, think about think about good habits, bad habits, and we're gonna have follow up questions. Okay. okay. All right. Thank bye. you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.